Hey gang, it is Tuesday, April 25th, 2017, and this will be my vlog for April. And I uh, just want to give you some updates of what's going on and, you know, things I've been working on. And I know that uh, um, my last video I talked about safety and I talked about my friend being injured. And I have not heard anything yet. I don't know if, if he hasn't been back to work that I know of. So I don't know his status at this time. Hopefully, you know, it'll be good news whenever I do uh, make contact with him. Um, and I'll try to update you when I get to that. But um, I posted a video. My, the last one was the Brooklyn Pony, and I've gotten a lot of responses on that. And it is going to be, a, you know, a challenge. It's a rough car, and you know, it's from New York. It's from the salt zone, and you know, it's it's amazing. It's even here at all. But um, I look forward to the challenge. I'll most likely be building a whole car. It's just the way it is. Uh, there's so many panels that are bad on it, and I've looked it over a little more, and I found some others that were bad and uh, I made a parts order today and tomorrow I'm going to drive up to Mustangs Unlimited and pick it up and uh, it's going to be everything I mean it's quarters, doors, floor pan, uh, tail panel, fenders, all, all kinds of stuff that um, I'm going to be getting so I'll be getting that soon and hopefully we'll be digging into it starting next month so along with that I've had to take care of a few things around the shop trying to make sure I have room to get the car in and as you know I, I have limited space uh, maybe at some point I'll be able to add on to the shop and have some more space um, I've even thought about selling off a car maybe um, I, I've had some people ask me about the 55 Chevy and I may sell it um, you know if you're interested maybe we can work something out uh, I can sell I'd like to sell it probably without the engine but we will see um, the car does not have a title. It is uh, in Georgia. You don't need a title. It has a good VIN number, and you've seen the video on it, or if you haven't looked it up, uh, 55 Rat Rod. So, what I want to show you a couple things. Um, I've been working on the Buick, and I know this is this car has been neglected <laughs> for quite some time. And I've actually owned the car I think since 2007, and it had a vinyl roof on it. And soon after getting it, I had to park it outside. It got rained on, and I didn't know that there was a leak, and I ended up pulling out the uh, windshield because it was just water was just running straight into the car. And I got frustrated at that point, and I pulled everything apart, pulled the front and back glass out, and it basically got set aside because soon after I helped a friend assemble his uh, 1929 Model A truck. It's like a one-ton that he brought back to Georgia from Kansas and that vehicle was um, it, it, he actually learned to drive on that vehicle when he was a kid so pretty amazing story on that one I was able to help him get it put back together but um, anyway so the the money I mean the, the Buick it's it got set aside and over you know over the years I've tried to you know buy a couple things I did buy new glass for the front. Um, my son was trying to help me pull the original glass out, and we managed to break it. So this is a new piece of glass, which I've actually had since, I think, 2008. And I had it, I actually um, had it sitting in the woods. And um, thankfully, nothing hit it and damaged it, and I was able to get it installed. I did do the repair work that I needed to up here around the windshield and I will not be putting a vinyl roof back on it but I'm just very very happy to have the windshield back in it and also the back glass so at least at this point I can park this car outside I'll still cover it up and that's, that's why the roof is black as well because I epoxied it uh, a couple couple years ago I guess and so anyway, I can park it outside and I'll have a lot more room. This car is huge, as you well know. Along with that, I've, I, I got tired of seeing the hood beat up. And I know, I think I showed a video on this where I was going to show some repair work on it. But I just got excited and started working on it. So that's, it's not quite finished. But it's looking much better than it was. So along with that, um, oh, yeah, I wanted to show you this. 
if you if you follow the group of YouTubers, you may have seen this guy, or you may have seen him comment on my post. And you can, maybe you can read it there. Bucks Woodshop. Now, if you'll notice, this is a saw blade. And I can block the light a little bit. His logo that he has is a saw blade, and it says Bucks Woodshop on it. Well, I was at work a couple weeks ago, and this saw blade was laying in the scrap metal bin. Somebody had brought it in and cut it up for some reason, and I saw it, and I thought, you know what? That would make a cool sign. So along with some other scrap metal that I pulled out of the scrap metal bin, I had a welder that I work with who does, you know, TIG welding. He welded all these pieces together for me. And then I had the vision of putting, making it look like I had little lights on it. So what I did, I found this light kit. It was a part of a something from Michael's um, hobby store. And basically, there's two. These, it didn't come with these little shields on. These are drain caps. But I glued, I put the caps on the end of the light, and then I glued uh, or used epoxy and attached everything and attached the battery box to the back of it. And the reason I did that, I didn't want these lights up front. I wanted them in the back. I didn't want. I can't cut them off or anything. And then I have the two up front. So anyway. I think that'll look pretty cool when he gets it set up on his bench or whatever, and it looks like a, a little old sign. Now, the you know reason I did this because years ago, and I have a picture of it. He made me a sign, and you can, it's in the in my paint booth. And of course, it says Joe Daddy's Garage, and it's I'll, I'll post a picture of it. But he made it out of wood, and uh, I just thought it was ironic that I would be able to come up with a steel sign for him because he has a wood shop. Yeah, you get it. Anyway, the Mustang is getting closer to the garage. It's slowly creeping its way in. It was sitting up on the driveway earlier and it's getting closer and closer. I did uh, spend the last couple weeks putting in um, wood floors in my house. I got tired of the carpet. So that has tied me up. Needed to get it done. It was getting pretty rough in there. We have three dogs and two cats and carpet is no good for any of that. So, what else is going on? That's about it. Um, again, Brooklyn Pony is coming. I'll have uh, the medal tomorrow. And I hope to start digging into it real soon. I'm debating on buying a or building a chassis jig. I don't know that I really need one. Um, they're very handy. I have, I'm trying to justify the cost. Either I buy one that I found. I think it's a JD... Two is the name of the JD2. Uh, I'm not sure what the company rested it. I looked up JD number two chassis was where it'll take you to the link. But I found that chassis uh, or that chassis jig online, and I'm debating on buying that. It's either that or I make my own out of two by four square tubing and fabricate my own table that I can use. Undecided at this point. So other than that, that's about it. Uh, Things are going smooth, weather's turning nice, and that's about it. So, anyway, stay tuned, Brooklyn Pony is coming. Uh, I'll be posting videos on that, and that's it. So, once again, thanks for watching.